Hey, it's Naftali. I'm so glad that you're here because I want to share some really exciting news with you. I've been working for a while on a webinar series that's going to help leaders clear their plates, get more done and the right work done, and get home to their families at a decent hour. We all know how busy leaders get. We all know how tough it is for us to finish our to-do lists, which continue to grow and to grow, and to work on the things that are most important and most necessary for us as leaders to be focused on and be able to give away other work to other people. The reality is so many of us hold on to the work we should be delegating to others. And if we delegate effectively and we understand the key elements of effective delegation, it's going to be a huge difference maker for us and for those that we support. Because not only will we feel relieved and relaxed and more focused on the right things, we're going to start to empower people around us to take on more responsibility and become better leaders. The impact of effective delegation is exponential, and it's time for us to tap into that. So I created a framework which I call the Delegate to Accelerate webinar series. It's a four-part series that we're going to be rolling out soon that focuses on some of the most important questions about delegation and provides actionable items to resolve them. Question number one is who? Who should I be delegating to? Do I have that person already on my team or do I need to find that person from somewhere else? Is it somebody that needs to be part of the office or possibly somebody virtual that I'm going to bring in specifically for a project? Another question that's critical is what? What should be delegated? And frankly, what should not be delegated? All of those are important questions because we have so many things to choose from, certain things we need to be doing and cannot delegate, and then there are certain things we absolutely need to be delegating to other people. Another question we're going to unpack is when. When is the right time to delegate? In terms of our, our coworkers' uh, growth trajectory, their knowledge, their skill set, their efficacy, their ability to do the job, and when in the project is appropriate for me to be delegating as well. And finally, and certainly not of lesser significance, is the question of why. Why is delegation so important? I've started to talk about it a little bit, but we really need to make a compelling case because if delegation is not important to us or we don't see the value, we're going to continue to do what we've always done and we'll continue to get the result we've always gotten. So I've got two questions for you, and that's what this survey focuses on. Whether you're using the email that I sent or you're going to get onto the survey through the link, please think about these two questions to make sure that this webinar series delivers maximal value for you. Question number one is, what is your biggest challenge when it comes to delegation? What is the thing that's preventing you from doing it or from doing it regularly? Or where do you get stuck in the process? It could be having the right per person or people to delegate to. It could be um, not knowing what responsibilities you should keep versus giving away. It could be a question of how it makes you look or feel when you're giving other people things that you think maybe you should be keeping for yourself. And then question number two, and that's really a very broad question. What questions do you have about delegation that this webinar series absolutely has to answer? Whether that's one question, two, three, share those questions with me. The more information that you share now, the better this series is going to be. I'm so glad that you've taken the time to watch this video and that hopefully you're going to now go right into the survey, answer these couple of questions, because with your information and hopefully with your participation, we're going to have an awesome offering for you. Thanks again.